improved skin health, reduction of stretch marks, and increase in energy, even the ability to regrow hair. These are just some of the benefits claimed by red light therapy users. Is this all just a farce or am I about to stumble upon a great cosmetic secret? That's exactly what I decided to try to find out in this 10 day red light therapy experiment. You might be surprised at the results, but you gotta focus. So I decided to go with a slightly higher end model red light therapy device with hopes that the unit would be clinical grade. Now according to the description and the reviews, this one seemed promising. I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link to this device in the description. Pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing is the door doesn't really close. Let's see if the hook right here. Oh yeah. That holds it. Now this device and most other devices use two wavelengths of red light therapy. One that appears super bright, a 660 nanometer wavelength, and another near infrared frequency, 850 nanometer wavelength, which is almost invisible to the eye, to work synergistically to supposedly stimulate the mitochondria in your cells so that they produce more ATP thus in theory accelerating the healing process and creating a state of more energy and overall well-being. Now the 660 nanometer red light is said to work its magic closer to the surface of the skin while the 850 nanometer near infrared light is said to work its magic by penetrating deeper. For this experiment I decided to use both of these frequencies simultaneously. Now according to the user manual for this specific device, in order to use this for health, you would want to do the 1224 rule, which means you want to stand 12 inches away from this device for 20 minutes a day, 4 days a week. Now according to the manual, if you were using this for treatment, you would want to stand 9 inches away, do this for 25 minutes a day, and do this for 5 days a week. However, for this experiment, I wanted to do this for 10 days straight and I wanted to do it on multiple quadrants of my body. So I used a formula to calculate a recommended dose based on the irradiance of my device at a specific distance and the amount of time I would be standing in front of the device at that distance. It is recommended you stay between 3 joules a centimeter squared and 50 joules a centimeter squared when you are treating an area. Because the irradiance of my device is approximately 94 milliwatts per centimeter squared at 6 inches, take this number and multiply it by the time in seconds for treatment of the area and then divide by it 1000 to get joules per centimeter squared. With this calculation, if I do 5 minutes per quadrant, I am right smack dab in the middle of recommended dosage per quadrant. Alright, enough of the math, let's get to the reality of this experiment. Honestly, my lower back has been pretty sore these last couple of days. Um, not just when I'm standing here, but like if I bend over, there is some soreness in the lower back. Yeah, it's tight and I can definitely feel it. Like I can feel the pain. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go straight on the back here. Starting my very first session, you could tell I was actually a bit timid, standing more like 12 inches away from the light. My initial impressions were immediately it felt like it was warming my skin, very similar to standing in the early morning sun. It never felt like it was burning, it only felt good, but would this actually have therapeutic benefits? It would take some time to find out. Crazy how this thing isn't even hot. Like, it's not even hot, it's so bright, it's not even hot. So I woke up this morning, my back actually did feel like it's getting a little bit better, but I don't know if that's due to the red light therapy or if that's just like, because it's just the course of getting better. I've got to say though, I slept last night exceptionally well. However, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary where I can just be like, yeah, that's significantly different and um, it's got to be the red light therapy, you know what I mean? But it was only day one, so... Days two and three doing the exact same protocol, just five minutes on each quadrant of the body. Feeling good, but nothing extraordinary yet. Now something you might realize is I am wearing eye protection and when facing the red light head on forward, I am additionally covering my eyes that are already under eye protection and already closed under the eye protection. Now there are some mixed opinions on whether or not you should wear eye protection and in some instances it has even been shown that acute eye exposure to red light therapy can actually enhance enhance vision. Now it's important to keep in mind that these studies were done with the therapy sessions only lasting a few minutes, done only a couple times a week. I was planning on doing this therapy for 
20 minutes a day, 10 days in a row. That and because I was reading there could potentially be some eye risks with long term exposure to near infrared light, I was not taking any risks. On top of this, because the intensity of the light was so high, even with the eye protection, when facing the red light device, it still appeared so bright as if I was looking directly at the sun. Because of this, I additionally covered my eyes with my hands. However, with this intensity and consistency, I felt like I was starting to notice some additional benefits. Something crazy I noticed was, you know, ever since that whole tooth fiasco I had on this uh, side of my face here, every once in a while, like my jaw kind of gets like, not necessarily achy, it's, well, yeah, I guess achy. Something I noticed is right when I went to the side like this and I let the red light shine right here on this side of the jaw, it felt like that phantom pain literally vanished within 20 seconds. So that was actually the first time I felt something using this thing that happened rapidly enough to where I could be like, wow, maybe this thing is working. Now, I don't know if that's just because it felt like it was warming my face up or if maybe there is really something therapeutic going on here. Other than that though, so my back soreness does feel a lot better, but I don't know if that's due to doing this therapy or if that's just the course of events. You know, sometimes your back gets sore in a couple of days, it gets better. All right, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. The smoothness of my skin might actually be slightly enhanced. Like, I don't know, it seems like maybe I my skin is a little bit more even looking. The results you're supposed to get are supposed to get better with time and are actually supposed to be more noticeable with time. Oh, another thing, my back pain is totally gone right now. But once again, that could just be due to the natural timeline of, you know, having like a, a slight backache. But nonetheless, I'm feeling good right now. Gonna continue. See you guys the next day. Aside from the potential cosmetic benefit I was getting, as well as the potential reduction in pain and inflammation, by day six, my energy and workouts felt relatively stable. Nothing out of the ordinary. I feel good, don't, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not anything exceptional where I can be like, oh yeah, this is something more than just like a good feeling week, you know what I mean? Now by day six and seven, I started to notice that maybe my improved sleep quality was not just a coincidence and possibly had something to do with this red light therapy improving my circadian rhythm. Something I'm noticing is I feel like I am going to bed way faster than normal. I'm a poor sleeper, unfortunately. That's something I've been trying to, you know, fix and find solutions to. But using this red light therapy, I feel like I am actually going from laying down to sleeping in under 30 minutes. When before it used to be scattered, but every day this week, and knock on wood, because I hope that doesn't change. Now, I know I haven't been filming my workouts, but this is my third day in a row working out, and I'm ready to go, which is crazy. Usually on the third day, if we go three days in a row, I'm kind of tired, kind of like, oh, I don't even want to, but I'm feeling that energy guys so we're gonna work out again today I'm digging this experiment so far maybe due to the improved sleep quality or maybe due to the red light therapy directly I noticed I had better energy levels this week and I was able to work out multiple days in a row with an even intensity By days eight and nine, I started to crave this red light therapy in the morning, almost as if I was getting some kind of secret nutrient from these emissions. By doing this consistently every day, I was starting to become a believer. I, I feel like there is something to be said about this red light therapy, guys. I really do feel like it is kind of having some benefits. You just gotta be patient. I think that's the key. Now, in addition to these subtle yet promising benefits that were amplifying day after day over these 10 days, would there be any visual differences that we could see in a before and after comparison? Well, that is exactly what we're about to find out. All right, good morning, guys. So it's the final day of this red light experiment, and I'm very excited to get this final day going here so we can look back at everything and make a conclusion. All right, got my coffee, queuing up my Mozart. Mohu, Zart. Woo! All right, guys. Just got done with the final session there. I feel like my skin looks healthier. I feel like I have like just good blood flow going on. I feel warmed up. So I've actually got work to do. Then I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna shower, shave, 
and then we are going to look at the before and afters and hopefully see some difference but I'm telling you right now I'm definitely feeling a difference every single time I do this and yeah I, I am definitely personally a believer right now in this therapy we'll see if we can see any differences I'm hopeful all right what's up home slice Lucas here so it has been 10 days since I started using this red light therapy device that's red light and near infrared light and I have to say based on my experience right now I have become a believer in this thing now I need to disclose this this video was not a paid advertisement the company who makes that red light therapy that I use for this experiment did not send me this light they did not reach out to me no I did my own research for certain products and I found one that I liked and I bought it and that's the one I have so what were the benefits that I experienced and what can I just like pretty much say I am certain that is due to this therapy so first and foremost my sleep this week has been exceptional I have been going to bed faster than I ever have been going to bed before. And by that I mean, when I lay down, I'm out to sleep before 30 minutes. Like I've mentioned early in this video, I often am a light sleeper and struggle to go to sleep relatively quickly. Sometimes it takes me between 30 minutes and two hours to go to sleep. Other nights I'm tossing and turning. It's kind of a nightmare to be honest with you. But for these last 10 days, I have been sleeping before 30 minutes every night, quality sleep, feeling great and that is one thing that is said to be a benefit by using this red light therapy and that is an improved circadian rhythm i think it's at least correlated if not a causation just based on how i'm feeling and based on the pattern of sleep i've had over these last 10 days now another thing for me that i experienced throughout these 10 days that i feel like is a direct correlation with using this red light therapy is a reduction in pain inflammation swelling joint pain etc on the areas that i concentrated the red light for example, when I started this experiment, I had a lower backache that usually takes about five days to go away. However, by about day three, it was completely gone. Another thing that I did not really document during this video is towards the end of this experiment, I was actually playing a lot of disc golf, like a ton of disc golf, like on the weekend. So much so that I felt like I was getting some like tennis elbow, essentially. Oh, that is gone. And usually when it's an injury like this, it takes about five to seven days for it to go to weight. Now this happened toward the final three days of this experiment. And for those final three days, I actually added in a five minute session where I just concentrated the light approximately six to 12 inches away from the back of this elbow here. And guys, it's like completely healed right now. It feels like completely gone. Also another instance was the whole jaw pain thing. Every once in a while, it kind of like aches a little bit or just like, it's like, uh. But like within 30 seconds, I, it just goes away. Obviously these results could be a coincidence, but it's just like, to me, I feel like, it's, I feel like it really worked. So how about the skin health, the reduction in like cellulite, stretch marks, and like the hair regrowth? Now I do have stretch marks on an area that I kind of don't want to show in the video and that was basically on my butt cheeks essentially and I also have that scar that I made last year on the top of my butt cheeks you know on the top of my buttocks just take my word for it the scar appears lighter and my stretch marks appear lighter I even asked my wife and she's like wow that's actually looking a lot better all of a sudden the stretch marks it seems maybe like a subtle improvement. It could just be a coincidence. I don't know. From what I've heard based on this therapy, you need to do it a lot longer to really notice these benefits. And that's kind of like a question I wanna ask you guys. Do you guys want me to do like a 30 day follow up? Maybe like a 60 day follow up? Maybe like a 90 day follow up? Because I am definitely going to continue to use this device here on out. I'm not just gonna stop it now. That's how much I feel like this thing has led me to improvements in multiple areas. So now regarding overall skin health, once again, I don't know, is 10 days too short of a time to really see an improvement? I mean, my skin may seem a little tighter down here lower, but that could just be like a fluctuation in water weight or fluctuation in my weight right now. I don't know for certain. It's kind of almost too hard to tell if there's an improvement in my skin elasticity from day one to, to right now, day 10. Also with hair regrowth, hair stimulation, I mean, it's only been 10 days. In my opinion, I think that's too soon to really tell anything. I think for hair, I think it would need to be more something on the lines of probably like 90 days or so, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, my skin, when I am done doing these sessions, always feels like I have a, like a good blood flow to the surface of the skin and thus, that might actually lead to maybe at the least preventing hair loss, just getting more blood to the surface of the skin or just stimulating blood flow to like 
potentially dying follicles. I know they do make devices that are red light, devices that you actually wear like right on your head for that close up contact. I did not try that, I'm only doing the light thing on the wall. Now as for like energy and just like overall feeling of health, I do swear to you, I feel like there is something there. Every day when I was done doing a session of this red light therapy, I truly felt just like energized, calm, and just like healthy. I just had a healthy feeling. A very similar feeling to if it was a really nice morning every morning and I was able to go out in the morning sun at that perfect altitude, right? And just ah, oh, just sit there in the sun for a good 10, 20 minutes and just soak up those sun rays. You know, a very similar feeling to that just like energization, you know, like that primitive energization. Maybe that's potentially even like increasing those hormones, you know, to just get you going in the day. I can't say that for a fact, it's just how I feel, all right? I'm really excited about this, guys. When I started doing this, I was kind of skeptical, like, oh, this thing's kind of like a red light. Yeah, it feels warm, but then after a couple of days of doing it consistently, like, I, I'm gonna continue doing this from now on. I'm gonna continue doing this and see if we can get additional benefits. And if you guys wanna see that video, let me know 30 days, maybe 60 or 90 days. Now, as for my device, something I do want to point out, just in case you're a stickler and kind of a nerd like I am, and you're wondering about, you know, electromagnetic frequencies or EMF. So according to this model, when I was going to purchase it, you know, I saw in the description that it did not emit like harmful EMFs outside of like six inches or so. And because I was doing this therapy up at about six inches, I kind of vary between six and 12 inches. But you know, sometimes our companies will say one thing, but the actual reality is a lot different. Well, I actually have an EMF detector, right? Cause yeah, I've kind of been like nerding out about EMFs and like frequencies, blah, blah, blah. I could make a whole nother video on this. Let me know if you want to see that, man. I freaked myself out. <laughs> Anyways, I used my EMF detector to see if it was emitting any EMFs. Direct up at the light, if I touched the detector to the light, it was emitting a high amount of EMF. But when I pulled it away to about two inches, it pretty much went back to normal. So that's even on the inside of the six inches. I was standing at least six inches away from this when I did my, my treatments, we'll call it. So yeah, I tested it myself and it seemed to coincide with the results that they were saying. So that's my 10 day experiment on this red light therapy, guys. I'm gonna continue this here on out. I'm probably gonna change it up though and just do like five days a week and then take two days off. Remember, always do your own research, always proceed with caution and don't overdo anything. With that being said, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoy this experiment. And as always, if you guys are interested in my bodyweight training program, check out Bodyweight Beast 2.0, a 12 week calisthenics program. You can virtually train anywhere. I have been getting a ton of great feedback on that program. We have hard copies back in stock. If you get a hard copy, you will get a complimentary digital download, or you can just purchase a digital download. Thank you all so much for your positive support and feedback on that. Peace. You all have a good one. I will see you all in the next video.